Let's take a look at what I found at Namak on Saturday, June 18. We start with the cheapo stuff. Uh, these are Yatming cars, one euro each. You can also find these as uh, Diggy Toys Speed Champs. We got a Porsche 911. So we got a uh, plastic base that just says made in China and number 811. Nice color, kind of hard to describe what it, uh, what it is. Got the headlights in silver, but uh, nothing tempo-wise in the back. We got the uh, Porsche 944. Probably a turbo. This does say Yatming on the base, number 1089. It's got a separate chrome bumper in the back. Uh, black painted spoiler. That is uh, part of the metal casting. Opening door, surprisingly. The proper steering wheel. See that? Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Casting wise, it's not that bad. Tail lights look a bit weird, but because they're kind of inset too much. Um, yeah, it's like the, the tail lights fell out of there. That's kind of what it looks like. Of course, the wheels let these castings down. Like so many of those uh, cheap die cast manufacturers. Castings are often okay, but uh, the wheels just fail them. Number 1203, BMW Z3. Get the uh, headlights in silver, BMW logo. Black painted roof part, it is a uh, die cast. So we got the convertible with the closed soft top. Little exhaust tip sticking out there. Here we got a, a Lexus IS. And a pearl white. Very small print on there. Lexus IS 250, it says. I believe it says number 1216. Used under license. So we got some silver for the headlights, the Lexus logo or badge. In the back, no tail lights, unfortunately. We do get uh, uh, all the badges and Lexus on the license plate. Two exhaust tips on each side sticking out. Right hand drive, as it should be. Cool. And then we got a Camaro. Two thousand six Camaro Concept twelve nineteen, used under license. Camaro printed on the side, got go faster stripes on top, on the hood and on the trunk, but no uh, light details. Then also managed to grab some. Uh, Hot Wheels long, long cards for cheap, one euro each. Uh, this is the Ford GT90 in the Enemy series, 2001 release. Metal on metal casting. Um, not a big fan of the blue windows, but uh, interior wise, it's, there's a lot uh, going on there. Uh, you got engine detail, you got the uh, okay looking interior, and uh, you know, even some uh, stitching on the seats and stuff that's visible. It's not bad, it 
deco well doesn't do much for me but you know it's okay here we got a Callaway C7 so basically a uh, Corvette C7 with the custom body on it uh, 1999 release it's a plastic base metal body plastic wing on the back headlights painted black extreme skateboarding deco very pleased with this one the school bus in the police livery prisoner transport that's just awesome uh, this is a uh, 1998 release i will open this up in the school bus video 2003 first editions 1941 ford pickup yes i know i don't like old American pickup trucks, but I didn't buy this for myself. I'm going to send this to Joe of XLT Offroad Bear just kind of as a joke because um, I don't think he's a big fan of uh, this kind of stuff either, but uh, he's getting it anyway. And also, pretty pleased to find this Austin Martin 1963 DB5 from the Forza Series 4. And um, it's got a chrome base for the chrome bumpers, nice chrome wheels. Uh, I will open this up when I get the other cars sent to me by uh, Tyrone of building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection and Ultimate Diecast. So um, he's getting me, he's sending me the uh, other five. And then I will have the complete set and I will open this one too. Also got some um, newer Hot Wheels. Well, these were uh, from last year, the 94 Bugatti EB110 SS. I missed out on these. Uh, three euro was the asking price, ended up paying 147. So I got a bunch of the yellow ones, uh, but did not have the blue one, which is of course the best one in my opinion, because it's Bugatti blue. Bugatti logo there on the front lens headlights some engine detail there in the back and a very nice back end cool sweet casting the mercedes-benz 500e in silver again three euro asking price paid 147 so I have the black one and the red one I was missing the silver so we get a nicely tampoed up front end there even the wipers are present and then same in the back nicely tampoed and as I mentioned mentioned every time I show this casting lots of die casts on this one bumpers are metal all the way to the bottom um yeah they didn't even put a, a plastic sunroof in there so it's definitely definitely value for money this casting and the 98 honda prelude from the same seller so same price in red so also has the lens headlights here we get a front tempo these fog lights then a top tempo the black hood or bonnet with the uh, honda logo and then in the back very nicely done no license plate on this uh, first release did get that and the second one too i believe that's okay looks great then the only welly I got, not that there wasn't any welly, but uh, well, three euro for a welly, that's not 
something I'm willing to pay. Just a moment. This is totally taped up. So I'll have to cut it. So this is a color I didn't have yet of this uh, Volkswagen New Beetle. And this uh, fluorescent green, got the chrome generic rims with the plastic tires, got silver for the headlights, got the VW logo, got red for the taillights and the VW logo. What more do you need? Got, uh, well, I thought I was going to say the exhaust sticking out of the back, but it's actually the base that's plugged into the back here with these two studs. The exhausts are here, uh, double exhaust pointed down. And okay, looking interior on these. Then we get to Majorette, got a bunch of Majorette. Uh, paid a little bit more for this uh, basic mainline casting that I would, would normally do, two and a half euro. But uh, this, i never never seen this color before. And this is apparently a Danish packaging, Toy Club. Uh, produced by MJT, that is Majorette, of course. Um, you can see a Danish company with an address. And I can't read anything of that. It's kind of a generic super auto. Uh, store brand probably that uh, sold these majorette castings die cast metal with plastic parts so we got the um, mini cooper licensed by bmw ag it's got suspension it's got a completely plastic top chrome headlights and a chrome grill, some uh, silver stripes on the bonnet, and then in the back get the lights and the mini logo, and the base clips into the license plate holder. A little exhaust sticking out. Again, some kind of a metallic tan color, very interesting, and uh, glad to have it. Add it to the mini collection. From uh, one of the two uh, sellers that uh, only had Coca-Cola stuff on their table, I got this uh, carded Saviem box truck, only two and a half euro, so could not leave that there. This has a um, backside that opens downward. Got the white uh, wind deflector there. Not going to open this. This is in pristine condition, and maybe I will one day. But for now, I'm going to keep this uh, closed. And I got a bunch of Lucy's, all from the same seller. Uh, of course, this one caught my eye first. This is the Volvo 760 GLE by Majorette. Made in France, um, plastic base, the green metallic one, which I didn't have already, red in, red interior. Um, and then the seller started talking to me, he's a very nice guy. Uh, I've bought stuff from him before, uh, he's got mostly Majorette stuff, uh, he's a Majorette collector and um, you know, we got talking and he said, well, you know, um, he had trays filled with Majorette loose cars. Um, five or six models of version of models of each model. So he had five or six of this and then same with all the others here you see here in this row. Uh, apparently uh, the, if he found these in a, in a garage of someone who uh, intended to print something on these when they were new back in the day, but it never happened and they just 
sat there in the garage and this uh, seller at Namak somehow found them and bought them from that gentleman. Um, so uh, uh, I picked a bunch of models that I liked. Well, actually, before that, he said, because I was only going to buy this one for five euro. But then he said, you know, if you pick multiples, you can have them for three euro each. And you know, you know me, I can smell a good deal when I uh, hear one. No, that's not right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, couldn't pass it up. So I uh, grabbed a few more uh, models and uh, yeah. This vintage major majorette is not my collecting focus, but you know, if I can find them for a good deal, I will grab them. So the Volvo was the only one with uh, a plastic base. This is the only one that doesn't say made in France on the base. This is the Audi 90. Of course, uh, they will. most of them will have uh, suspension um, and lens headlights. In this case, they are blue. It's got some bluish windows. Weird. Um, opening doors, of course. It's got the Audi rings on the doors, got the, the striping on the side, nothing tempo-wise in the back, but it's very detailed. It's got the Audi 90 cast into the body and the rings also, and the taillights are also quite detailed. And of course, an okay looking interior on all of these. Then we got the uh, Renault 25, copyright Renault 1985, it says underneath Majorette. This one has the metal trailer hitch and the plastic clip, part of the bumper, which is part of uh, the interior to hold the uh, trailer on the, on the hitch. This door do doesn't open very well, so I'm going to leave it shut. Lens headlights, little Renault logo in the middle there, part of the plastic grill. And there was also a kind of a maroon metallic color variation of that same Renault 25. So also grab that. I had a neighbor when I lived with my parents that I had one of these. So. That's why I got both colors, probably. This is uh, one that doesn't have suspension, the Morgan. Uh, kind of the same color as the uh, Renault 25, and that, uh, I don't know, kind of mint green. No lens headlights, but uh, chrome ones, together with the grille and these uh, vents here. Uh, part of the dashboard and steering wheel, probably. There's also chrome, and then the seats are white, together with the top and the uh, spare wheel in the back the top is detachable like that it's got these two studs here to, uh, to fix it on there click there was also a Ferrari in that lot the GTO it's got the uh, exaggerated wide wheels although not as bad as some of the others but if you look underneath, of course, they are very wide. Um, just a little bit of plastic here in the front part of the interior. Huge Ferrari logo. And that's basically the only thing we get tempo-wise. The engine cover is uh, openable. And it has that little uh, stud here. I don't know if you can see that to hold it up in the packaging to show that there's an opening part and then um, during uh, transportation it got uh, got bent so it only holds it up like that anymore should be a little bit higher um, but you know these are made to break off these studs uh, if you start playing with them because uh, of course you need to be able to shut it uh, Detail-wise, it's very nice in the back. It's got the uh, prancing horse next to the 
tail lights on the right. Il Cavallino Rampante and then GTO also. Cool. Nice uh, addition to the Ferrari collection. So this will go in the Ferrari Jammer. This one, the, the pin did survive that holds up the hood. So we got a chrome engine, chrome steering wheel and dashboard again, and a chrome grill. But the headlights are metal and are part of the metal base. This is the Ford Thunderbird. Also, suspension. Not so much in the front, more in the back. Um, it's got a black line here that's part of the interior all around. Also has a trailer hitch. No tampos on this one. Then we got the uh, Land Rover. This is the uh, Defender 90. Kind of a fluorescent orange. It's the one that has the roof rack with the, the stuff on top. Three jerry cans, a spare wheel, toolbox, and then some kind of a crate. And some lights here on the front with the uh, Camel Trophy uh, name on there. It's the first time I noticed that. that. That says Camel Trophy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, metal headlights that are part of the base. Plastic grill. Trailer hitch. Tail lights are also metal part of the base. Then we get the plastic opening door. Cool. And then two vans. The Toyota Light Ace. Uh, blue with a pink interior. Interesting. Again, no tampo on this. Uh, this has the kind of uh, opaque windows in the back to kind of make the uh, hinges of the back door less visible. Although it doesn't really do a great job at that. In the back we got some boots, we got some fishing gear. It's kind of hard to, uh, to show you, but uh, yeah, you can just about see it. And part of the back seat is folded down or is taken out. Also got some stuff on there, like a purse or something on the floor where the seat would be. And here's the Ford Transit. Also in that same mint green as the Morgan and the Renault 25 with a red interior. It's got the functional sliding door. Got three rows of seats in there. Got suspension. Transit and Ford logo. On the back door, on the lift gate. And lens headlights on this one. Then I also found this Majorette Series 600 Transports vehicle. Uh, it also has suspension apparently. Some uh, mumbo jumbo on the base there. Uh, Kenworth KW and design and aerodyne trademarks licensed by Packard Inc. Bellevue, Bellevue Washington, USA. See through back side. Here's a few of the other ones that were in this set. And original price tag here on the side from Kretvat, seven euro 95 cents. I got it for only five euro. I thought it was a great deal. So uh, I don't think I will get this out without destroying the packaging uh, or maybe I will I don't know if we can just slide it out oh yeah I can look at that um, this is a little bit broken here maybe it was opened up I'm not sure it doesn't really matter this is a heavy piece so 
just says majorette made in france on the base of the the tractor 187 scale um, no name on the base of the trailer it's um, mostly metal what you see here except for this yellow part of the crane and this boom that's plastic um, let's see if if I can get this off of there without breaking anything again like I did on the previous a previous video so we got a um, kind of a metal base part here the fifth wheel yellow metal cabin got the chrome front end the grill and the bumper uh, chrome fuel tanks and then chrome smokestack cool wheels also interior is well okay it's got a stump for a steering wheel or kind of a barrel and there's just a little plastic insert here in the the metal to hold the axles The uh, suspension system is just a plastic thing holding the uh, axles down that kind of flexes, interestingly. Same here in the front. And then the trailer. And does this function in any way? These, no, these don't function. Um, no suspension on these wheels in the back. So let's see what this can do. Okay, we got a little uh, piston there that uh, extends when you pull up the boom. Let's see. Let's see how far this goes. Okay, quite far it seems. Yeah, I can't even get it in the picture. That's how far it goes. Uh, this is just a fixed hook. It doesn't extend or anything, so I'm not going to be able to lower it down. And of course, it uh, it swivels pretty much all around. Yes, it does. Cool. Let's uh, try to put this back without breaking it, because uh, this there's a plastic lip in there that holds the the pin and uh, I broke it on a on a uh, previous vehicle I showed, so I'm kind of kind of scared to put this in there. Okay, didn't break. I'll put this in the back so you can get a better view of that. And I also found this Dubai Police Chase set. Uh, it's even got the. Um, Dubai police website on there so very cool all Dubai related stuff seven euro was the asking price uh, I ended up paying five 2019 packaging date October 2019 lots of mumbo jumbo on the back I dread Dubai police chase, it says here also. Um, I think I've got this one coming from uh, Tyrone of uh, building the ultimate Matchbox car collection. Um, I will be sending him this helicopter because I don't really collect uh, helicopters. Uh, I was mostly interested in this one, this flat black Lamborghini Aventador, because uh, I've never seen this before. Usually these police chase sets have vehicles that were also available in something else, another set. Uh, this one seems to be unique to this set. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, glad I found it and it's a reasonable price for a unique item like this. So Leave the chopper in there. Put it to the side. So if the camera will focus, I can show you the base. 
There you go. It's got suspension. It's got those little tiny wheels. If they put the bigger wheels on there, it would be set too high. That's the downside of having suspension on sports cars. Lens headlights, Lamborghini logo, tail lights, and the Lamborghini name in the middle there. A little bit of an engine detail. Stealthy looking in the flat black. And then the uh, Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG in the Dubai police livery. No light bar on this, of course, because it's got gold wing doors, so otherwise they, they wouldn't open anymore. Also got the lens headlights, Mercedes star in the grill. Full deco on this. Then we get to Norev. This is the Mercedes-Benz A-Class in silver. I've had a bunch of blue ones, which I sent all over the world. Of course, I still have one for myself. I've never seen the silver one, so I was glad to find it. Only two euro. Um, well, I uh, kind of got the chance to uh, tell the seller what I was willing to spend on it and um, she accepted. Um, so we got a plastic base, plastic tires, authentic rims as always with Norev lens headlights and painted tail lights. A little bit of a issue with the paint in the back which is very uncommon for Norev. But that's okay. Nicely uh, painted exhaust tips also. Some black around the windows and the mirrors. Yeah, definitely a nice model. This is a 162 scale, by the way. I've uh, measured it. And for three euro, I got this VW Tiguan in this uh, showroom box, 2012 date on there. So probably 2013 release. This is not a um, dealership release, this is just a regular Norev release. Also has suspension. Nice metallic red, it's got the uh, panoramic roof. Lens headlights, separate piece for the grill with some uh, silver on there. Black for the B pillar and C pillar. And down there also around the wheel arches and in the back of the bumper, the bottom of the bumper, I should say. Different red for the taillights, that's a nice touch. And then the uh, emblems and logos on there. Uh, disappointingly, this is quite huge. This is 154 scale. I also measured it. It doesn't say it on the base. The uh, classic ones have the scale on the base, not the, the newer models, but 154 is rather large here's the Renault Traffic van in a kind of a Spider-Man livery so that kind of appealed to me three and a half euro Renault dealership packaging it's quite snug in there it's not, not a lot of room left in this tiny little box um, it's only held by a top piece in plastic. So metal on metal, so this is pretty heavy. Uh, Les Miniatures de nos rêves. Renault Toys. Traffic just says here between the front wheels. So plastic tires. Authentic ish rims and satellites, Renault logo painted silver. Um, the bumper seems to be part of the interior, yes, it is. Also, there's a 
rocker panel and then the rear bumper also it's got the trailer hitch it's got the lift gate that opens up you can see there's seats in there and then the uh, kind of spider-man livery Thought that was interesting so grabbed it And then this one, I almost didn't see it. Uh, I was about to pay for the uh, Renault Traffic because it's uh, from the same seller. And then suddenly my eye fell on this cylinder-shaped Norev packaging. Uh, Renault Trucks. So this uh, probably was also sold uh, at dealerships. Uh, this is kind of an iconic packaging by Norev. I don't, didn't have an example of it, and I'm very pleased I do have now. Um, it's all in French, véhicule utilitaire et camion. So kind of translates as commercial vehicles and trucks. So we got the Renault Master Combi, nine places. Renault Master Van, length 2H. Uh, height 2, the Renault Mascot, which is a heavier version of the Master. Uh, Benne means uh, pickup in French, BTB, I don't know what that means. And another Mascot, Caisse means uh, box, uh, 20 square meters. So let's open it up. I already took the tape off here because it was all taped up. So I didn't want to struggle with that on video. Kind of a, an insert in here. Um, well, this first has a plastic piece here that holds the insert. And then you can take the insert out of there. So I asked the seller if he had more of these and he was going to check uh, at home. Uh, so hopefully at the next NAMAC I can score some more, who knows. So these are all metal on metal, so it's pretty heavy. It's uh, yellowed a bit, this uh, plastic uh, piece that is holding the vehicles. So it's kind of just clipped together. I will keep this in this packaging, obviously, because it's so iconic, so I will not throw anything away. No worries. So we got the Renault Master 2003, metal on metal, as I said, suspension, trailer hitch, some red paint for the taillights. The, um, there's also some tampos on the plastic doors in the back, so that's the only uh, body piece that is not metal. Doors open. Uh, so this is my first version of a um, kind of a people carrier version of this casting because it always has the interior with the seats but all my other ones have uh, a panel van so very cool to finally have uh, this people carrier version lens headlights and the logo and a different silver than the um, the silver the uh, body is in got the rail here painted black very nicely detailed fuel filler here. Authentic looking steelies on it, but well, the chrome doesn't make it look authentic, but the design is nice. Then we got the van version, the panel van version, a little bit of uh, corrosion on the base there. And, uh, non-metallic blue so you got the blue doors and uh, if I can open it yeah there you go there you can see the seats in the back just like the, the window version again tampoed doors and uh, flat black bumper is part of the die cast uh, casting is just painted flat black, same in the back. A 
Here we got the uh, the tipper mascot 2004. So you can see here it's got uh, a little bit different wheel arch than the uh, master ones. A little bit different front end too. So the uh, metal bed tips and then it's got the plastic back door that opens up but everything else is metal so it's same with the flat black bumper here part of the metal cabin and we got some tempo on the bumper very nicely done And then we got the box truck. The wind deflector is plastic, color match to the cabin. The box is plastic. And then this uh, should open up, but not sure if I will manage. Um, let's see. And grab something here. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to force it, but this right one doesn't really want to open very far. And you can see it's got a plastic um, bottom there, so it is it's a complete box. Uh, left one needs to be closed first and then the right one yeah I'm very happy with this I'll put it back in the box after the video put it to the side got one Siku um, number 1388 Swedish fire engine Swedish Swedish special it says on the box it was five euro I paid five euro because uh, I've never seen this uh, uh, mentioning as a special because they do uh, fire department well emergency liveries I should say of all kinds of countries but usually it doesn't really mention it on the, on the packaging and this one did so that's why I got it um, easy to open these are just flip over one of these and you can take the cardboard piece out plastic base just has some uh, info on the siku it's a um, cabin that's based on escania we get the silver headlights we get uh, some orange detailing on the side uh, blue window piece so we get the blue cherries on top plastic a backside with some silver and some orange. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Would make for a good laugh, but uh, silver for the uh, rims, plastic tires. Yeah. Whoops. And then just slide it back in like this and fold over the, uh, the little lip here that yeah closed up again on me so a little bit fiddly to close back up but yeah this will go on the uh, Siku rack <laughs> got this 164 scale Liberty walk Mercedes AMG G63 I guess because it's very small print kind of hard to read by uh, Para64 uh, I paid only two euro for this uh, because well it doesn't have the correct wheels on it these are wheels for a uh, Lamborghini Urus by Mini GT uh, other than that it's uh, original so we got lensed headlights, we got the 
custom bumper by uh, LB Performance. Got this extra mirror here on the side that seems completely useless to me because it's got perfectly good mirrors here. Lens tail lights, LBWK on the rucksack, the spare wheel. Um, it's got side exhaust that are part of the plastic base. I don't mind the plastic base, but if I would have paid regular price for this with the regular wheels, with the box and everything, uh, this probably would cost around 15 euro. And for it to have a plastic roof and plastic wheel arches that are part of the interior and plastic bumpers that are painted red that are part of the base, I would be disappointed. Uh, even um, the Matchbox G-Class has a metal roof. I mean, come on. That's just not, uh, not a lot of value for money in my opinion. Well, in this case it is because I only paid two euro for it, but not at regular price. I'm sorry, but to me it just isn't. Scored another one of these Fiat 500s by Paul's Model Art or Micro Champs. 1957 till 1976 this was made. Uh, this is a later version because it doesn't have the suicide doors anymore. Five euro I paid for it. That's a fair price. I tried to find all the versions of this beauty. Um, this is in light marine blue. Oh, I should take out the acrylic lid first, right? Otherwise the car falls inside when I undo it. Color code 0433. Kind of a strange color. Um, it's got some green to it too, but kind of marine blue, probably, I don't know, like the, uh, the sea in some places in the world I, world, I guess. So we got a plastic base, got rubber tires, no, yes, no, sorry, plastic tires, authentic looking uh, hubcaps, dog dish, some black around the back window, got the soft top that is open, got lensed headlights it seems like, orange for the indicators, separate piece for the chrome bumper, some silver for the emblem there, some silver here on the hood of bonnet, black around the windows, there's actually silver around the front windows and then black around the rear windows, door handle painted silver, uh, tempoed taillights with uh, silver for the um, license plate light holder that also functions as um, the handle for the um, engine lid I guess black around the rear window and also chrome bumper in the back nicely done interior kind of uh, so it's got the um, dashboard in the same color as the body and then you can see some uh, buttons there and an ashtray I believe there is an ivory colored steering wheel with the Fiat logo in the center there and some grayish seats so we got a lot of color in the interior that's really nice it's just such a sweet model and it's so tiny true 164 I love it Then we get to uh, Tomica. Um, let's do this one first. This was the cheapest one. Tomica Limited. Porsche 356 A Speedster. Paid only two and a half euro for this. It's definitely the cheapest uh, Tomica Limited I ever gotten. falling apart there's also some kind of a leaflet in there okay some other vehicles cool so 
So we got a plastic base, 159 scale. Some exhaust detail there. Suspension, rubber tires, authentic rims, striping on the side, door handle, a logo here, and the name Speedster. Lens headlights with a little bit of silver around them. Some silver and black for the bumper. Again, it says Porsche here on the front. Some silver in the Porsche logo on the, on the front. It's got some silver for the buttons to hold down the soft top cover. Interior is pretty basic, but it's got a proper steering wheel. It's okay. Nice grill here on the back with some uh, silver and black. Porsche, I believe 1600 is what it says underneath. Painted tail lights with a kind of a shiny paint and kind of looks them them to be lensed. A nicely done bumper in silver and black. And some silver around the windscreen windshield also. So yeah, not bad. For two and a half euro, I say. Then, oh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The next three I got from uh, Clive Chick. That's his name. Uh, he's a, a British gentleman who um, uh, has uh, returned to Namak. He was there the previous edition also um, he goes to Japan a lot and he uh, so he has a lot of Japanese stuff this is a Tomica limited vintage for only nine euro that's the cheapest uh, TLV I've found so far the other ones I have were all 10 euro just about my uh, price limit this is the number three so it's very early on that's probably why it's uh, a little bit cheaper um, 2004 copyright and it's a taxi so that's great too for my taxi collection these early TLVs did not have a metal base this is a plastic base that's also why it's cheaper probably this is a Toyopet crown so it's got separate chrome bumpers it's got rubber tires, obviously, very balloonish tires, um, authentic rims or hubcaps, not sure what they are. Nippon Kotsu Taxi, it's got this funny ball thing on the roof, of course full deco, got four lensed headlights that are kind of yellowish. Chrome piece insert in the front. All black interior, red right hand drive, obviously. And we got lens tail lights also, which are very nice. Got the license plate that is so typical for Japan, this white square thing. And a chrome insert in the back also. Well, two actually for the bumper and for the back side. The license plate on the front. Very pleased with this one. And these Kyosho were 10 euro. These are Japanese exclusives with some panel vans of the VW T1, Type 2 T1, with some uh, Japanese advertising on them. Circle K Sunkus 2007 Motor Collection by Kyosho, made in China, officially licensed by Volkswagen. Don't really see a date on there. Maybe this 15 means it's 2015. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Let's 
So these are basically those uh, those boxes, those kind of blister top boxes that you see, but in a cardboard piece. So they're a little bit different than the usual ones that you get in the um, mini car collections. So this is uh, for the um, some kind of a mall in Japan. Tokimiki. I think this is my first panel van version of this Kyosho. I've got the Samba with all the windows. So, Volkswagen, there's, there's a space between the Volks and the wagon, which usually is uh, not the case, so that's kind of incorrect. It's kind of funny. T1 van, got the plastic exhaust sticking out of the back. So we got rubber tires, got authentic rims, although they look a little bit large. Dog dish hubcaps. Got lens headlights, orange painted indicators, and the VW logo. Got those side doors, that's cool. And then lens tail lights also with the Japanese style license plate thingy. And nothing tampoed on the back. Definitely uh, cool to have something exclusive to Japan. And the other one, same price, in a Panasonic livery. Oxy ride. It's kind of a pale yellow color in this one. So same features as the other one, just a different advertising. Also got this Racing Champions Porsche, 1983 Porsche 911 Turbo. In red looks very large for scale but uh, yeah eight euro uh, you don't come across a lot of racing champions so I thought why not 1999 copyright here on the back can freeze the frame if you want to read that classified classics Comes with an information sheet or card. Again, you can freeze the frame if you want to read that. So, mm, is that a plastic uh, metal base? Yeah, seems like a metal base. What does it say? Portion 83, Portion 911 Turbo. Got rubber tires, we got the uh, Fuchs alloys on there. Black for the door handle, Good looking mirrors on it. Headlights look a bit strange, they are chrome pieces, inserts, part of the large Porsche emblem. Got the fog lights and the indicators done, and the black strip on the bumper. In the back, we got the base that clips into the body here, and then some orange for the indicators and then the rest of the light bar in the back is red. We got a uh, black plastic spoiler that is attached to the red metal engine cover and we get a nicely detailed engine in there. Look at that. That's cool. That's really nice. Yeah, very pleased with this. 
even though it's large, it's uh, very nicely done. From uh, one of those uh, Coca-Cola sellers, the same as I got the Majorette from. Uh, I got this 1997 Hummer open top, uh, Holiday Ottomans 2005. So it's got a grip clip that turns your cars into decorations. I uh, did not have an example of this Hummer casting and for 5 euro, yeah, definitely will pick it up. Uh, Johnny Lightning is around 10 euro here in Europe if you can find it. So here's the other vehicles in the set. Here's that uh, clip thingy for your to put in your Christmas tree. So we have an all metal casting by Johnny Lightning. Our tires are a bit crooked. Gold rims, which of course suits the, uh, the theme, rubber tires. Um, so we got a cardboard box representing some crates of Coca-Cola in the back. Got painted tail lights with the red, black bezels. Black painted. Well, I actually think it's a separate plastic bumper piece in the back here. Got a um, little logo there on the door, Christmas style. Tampoed in the front, so no lenses anywhere. And then this also is a same logo, but a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, seems like it. And some mid tempos here and there. Yeah, not bad. And then we've got uh, this Greenlight California Lowrider Series 1 1973 Cadillac Sedan Deville. Um, I decided to collect this casting. I'm not a fan of low riders, but this looks okay. Nine euro. Uh, green light is getting expensive also um, in Europe. 2021 copyright, 2021 release. Um, so yeah. If this goes on like that. Uh, green light won't fit in my price limit anymore but I think they'll stay under 10 euro for uh, for some time still very nice color I forgot to look up what the color is I don't know if this hood opens up but I'm not going to bother Metal on metal, of course, number 4,261. Little gap here between this uh, end section and the diecast body, but you know, it's not that bad. Of course, we got rubber tires. We got the uh, authentic rims, two-tone, got the white roof section. Uh, no lens lights on this, all painted. But, uh, yeah, looks fantastic. What a land yard. Put that one in the back also. Then we get to Matchbox. Finally, some of you will say. Um, this was the cheapest one, only one euro, but it's only the one in worst condition. Uh, for the ambulance video, this is the Lomas ambulance. I think the seller said that it was based on a Bedford. Um, it's not complete, it's missing one door, but the other ones I saw didn't have any doors at all. So uh, I need to find one with left door, or preferably one with two doors in the back. We'll see. Um, so it's got a, a stretcher, on the left and then four seats on the right. Let's see if we can uh, 
give you a better look inside there if the door would stay open yeah the door still works very well the one that is still on there and then in the front it's got uh, three or room for three people but no dashboard in there so it's lost a lot of its paint obviously but you know just to have an example of this uh, casting and these old lesney cars are not my collecting preference but for some videos i grab them this is the thames trader wreck truck also a lesney uh, paid two euro for this and this is complete so it's got the sticker still on there it's got the hook still on there um it's lost uh, quite a bit of paint but you know other than that um, this is good enough an example for me for the tow truck collection i got some newer stuff uh, these loose ones were all two euro same as the the rack truck by the way land rover svx this is a pretty cool casting of uh, what um, land rover thought the new defender would turn out to be but as we all know it turned out something completely different so it's got uh, headlights painted white it's got uh, quite a few tempos on the back there and it's got a nicely done interior I like this interior it's got that um, diamond plate floor it's got a spare wheel it's got a proper steering wheel and uh, yeah it just looks good got this roll bar thing yeah and staying with Land Rover this is the discovery um, did i write down from what year these were i'm not sure i might have forgotten yeah didn't write it down sorry bighorn forest deco not a fan of the red windows but other than that it's nice here's a mercedes-benz clk convertible in gold it's got the taillights that are red and uh, obviously and kind of wrap around so uh, matchbox logo on the side we got the silver headlights we got the chrome grille that is a separate piece so you could say this is uh, tempoed on four sides which is not bad it's got a proper steering wheel is a must-have for a convertible because it's so visible in there and well, it's gold so how can you not uh, be tempted by a gold car right Chrysler panel cruiser this is a uh, 2001 copyright so it's probably 2002 yeah 2002 release also two euro uh, oh yeah it says it here wrongly stated as 50 years of matchbox which was in 2003 only have one example of the chrysler panel cruiser that's the first release in blue and this is the second release in this uh, uh kind of gold with uh um what do you call that wood paneling uh, tempo wise just the side here that's it and a brown seats apparently interestingly yeah brown interior also managed to grab a few of these matchbox collectors for five euro only 2015 mercedes-benz g550 usually these are between 8 and 10 euro another gold one i'm sensing a theme here true grip tires other vehicles in the set well if i found the set for this price i would grab the whole set obviously this alpha is very nice too and these other two are not bad 2021 copyright so 
we get a gray base. We get uh, goldish plastic tires with uh, rims, sorry, with plastic tires. Side deco, rear deco. Front deco. So we get four tempo sides, that's okay. We've got the V8 there on the side, indicator repeater. Uh, it's kind of an American version because it's got the red side light and the orange side light. Yeah, definitely an American version. Cool. Very pleased to have this. Love to collect a G-Wagon. And there was also this flat black G500 Cabrio from the same set. So, first example I have of this casting. 2020 copyright. So this one has the um, hood or bonnet that opens up and there's some silver details underneath there. Let's see if I can uh, show it to you a little bit better. Does that work? Yeah, kind of does. So we got uh, front tempos, engine tempos, and rear tempos. Nothing on the side. Yeah, it's just a convertible version. It's got the soft top down. Cool. Nice one. And then this one, the uh, Jaguar F-Type Coupe from 2015, which they decided to put three in each case and then only one of some other vehicles, which totally doesn't make sense. I don't know why they do that. That's just stupid. Well, I kind of know why they do that, because this one is the cheapest to make because it doesn't have an opening part. So they're, they're just being cheap, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. Not a fan of the side deco, I mean these black and orangey stripes, that's unnecessary to me. I just like the, I just like the silver deco here, that would have been enough for me, and the black around the windows. Uh, Details in the back are very nice. And then same in the front. There's a top tamper too for the headlights. And again, could do without the stripe. But everything else is really nicely done. A plastic roof. Well, partially. There is an interior in there. It's pretty dark. And then we get to the convoys. So, let's see how this was. So one of the Coca-Cola tables had these three. I went there first. And then the other Coca-Cola table also had these three, but with a variation on this one. And they were a little bit cheaper, so I paid a little bit too much for these. And they have yellowed packaging, but you know, you win some, you lose some. This has a 2001 copyright. Um, does it say something here on the box that is relevant? Oh yeah, 10 euro asking price, 8 euro and 33 cents I paid. Well, actually, this was an elderly couple selling all kinds of Coca-Cola stuff that they acquired from someone who I think had deceased. So the husband didn't know anything about the prices. So he had his ask his wife and his wife, you know, I think kind of made a guess. Uh, afterwards, I saw that it said eight euro on the box. So yeah, if I had seen that, I would have shown her that, and I probably could, would have gotten them for cheaper. But anyways, um, sometimes I just don't have the time to uh, to look into it that much. There's a lot of stuff at that event to be uh, looking at. Um, I don't know if I will keep the boxes. Still have to decide on that. Um, this is the Duff. I think, yes, Duff 3300 Space Cab. So a COE, cab over engine, 1987 copyright for this casting. 
Um, no interior on this, it's got uh, silver painted windows it seems. Um, silver grill piece that seems to be metal, Coca-Cola on both sides. Of course the typical Coca-Cola red. Black metal base with just a plastic insert to hold the axles just like Major Red, that Major Red we saw. Um, surprisingly heavy trailer. Um, does it say articulated trailer? So uh, articulated tractor trailer combo. So metal chassis, which is quite weighty. And then a plastic container on top. Enjoy the real thing, Coca-Cola, which doors should open. Yeah, they do. That's kind of hard to see in there. It's all black. And this doesn't really have a uh, a base, unlike the, um, or does it? No, partially. It has a partial base. If I can show you that. No, that's going to be too hard. So this just uh, sits in there. Much easier to connect than the um, red, red ones, I have to say. Here we got 1999. Well, I think this is a 2000. We get to the 2001 first. So it's same ones, these two, but different uh, deco on the box and the container. So this one was seven year and a half. Okay, different style packaging it seems. So we got the Peterbilt. Well, that's just the only thing it says, Peterbilt. 1983 copyright. Lots of chrome on this, chrome front end, chrome smokestacks and uh, fuel tanks, air tanks. Uh, the driver is also chrome in there. Uh, if you see, everything you see is red, is metal, they got the chrome base. Articulate, articulated trailer again, so the same trailer with the same box and same opening feature, maybe you can look in there a little bit better because it's red. Well, just a little bit. Coca-Cola on both sides. So here we got that same Peterbilt, but in a different deco. Just going to pull it out. Just show you the, uh, the difference on the box truck then. Oh, wait a minute, that's not the same. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. That is not the same cab. Why won't you come out? Okay, I have to turn it. This is a Mac. Oh, jeez. Well, that's a lucky find. Mac CH600, 1990 copyright. Cool. So again, I proved that I don't know anything about American vehicles not recognizing or seeing at first that these were different. Yeah, this looks cool. It's got this kind of extra window on top there, like that. One smokestack for this one. Nice. Yeah, trailer is the same as the other ones. So we got the polo bear on this one. So, do I need to turn it to put it back in there? Mm -hmm. Apparently I do. So, we've got three different uh, rigs here, or lorries. That's cool. I totally did not expect that. And then this last one, it's not a tractor trailer combo. It's the Matchbox bus, my first example of it. This has a 1999 copyright, 10 euro reduced to 833. Oh, it's so heavy, I'm dropping it. It's seriously heavy, like insanely heavy. 
1999 did I already say that I don't know so they sell they still sell these at Disneyland um, but uh, you know I never go there so and they're probably very expensive um, let's see uh, it says MC coach or would that say MCA I'm not sure China, Matchbox 1999 Mattel. So we got a plastic base. We get a metal body. So um, it's got a few plastic windows here, but in the back, this is all metal. So this is clearly made to have a lot of real estate to print, st print stuff on. Got silver for the headlights. Uh, it doesn't seem to have. Well, it does have an interior, I think. Um, let's see. Yes, it does have an interior. Can I show you that uh, a little bit? Uh, you can see the driver's seat and some seats there. Uh, not a lot of them, but there's some seats there. Cool. Yeah, kind of foggy windows, but you get the picture. But uh, this is the heaviest matchbox casting I've ever had in my hands. It is seriously heavy. Um, I guess it's based on a real bus, but I don't know it. This uh, MC something. That is very cool. Definitely a great find. And then the only non Coca Cola related convoy is this uh, Michelin one. Which I was surprised was still there because Michelin stuff is very hot for just Michelin collectors that only collect Michelin die cast. Scania Vrachtwagen should be an E instead of an O there. Scania truck. Sutter was asking 12. I offered him 10. He said, well, Let's meet in the middle, 11, and then I said, well, sorry, I kind of have a price limit of 10 euro on these. And then he said, okay, we'll do it. And he was happy with the sale, so it's not like I am. Uh, I forced him into selling it. Uh, he, he was definitely pleased with the sale, so no worries there. Uh, let's see. The So we got all different... Um, Tractors here, that's cool. Scania, uh, what's that? T42 or something? Oh man, I can't read that. It's too shiny. Yeah, never mind. Black smokestack and air intake on this one, so that's not chrome. Got the blue base, chrome chassis. Um, yeah, some chrome fuel tanks on the side. Black uh, push bar here. Well, it's more of a kettle bar. Here we got uh, Michelin Man on the front, or uh, Bibendum, as he is uh, officially known. Michelin name on the um, wind deflector. Some blue stripes on the side. Nice one. Like it a lot. And then we got this uh, trailer, which is also the art articulated trailer, but it's slightly different. That doesn't have the container on the back. And this rubber band is still good. Can you imagine that? It's got a um, kind of a plastic um, bed on there with a canopy, a yellow Michelin canopy on top. Cool. Yeah, definitely a nice one. So, this all in the back here. Coca Cola stuff a little bit more to the front. And we see them all kind of. Yeah, don't see the, the Cadillac anymore. So, I'll try to make that a little bit more visible. Thanks for watching.